scored the first, whatever, possessions that we had, four or five possessions. We had the three and out. I mean, the thing that put a damper on the offense was probably the three and out that we had at the opening of the, the first drive of the uh, second half. We can't afford to do that. Uh, outside of that, I think, you know, played reasonably well. Uh, defensively, uh, we, we we had some work to do. We, we made some mistakes. I mean, we just have to do a better job. I mean, it's not rocket science uh, to be able to stop the quarterback when he pulls it down and brings it out. He, they did a nice job scrambling with the football. Uh, we did a, a miserable job of defending against the, the scrambles. Uh, we were not a very good pass rush team. Uh, I thought, uh, you know, in the first half, we really did uh, play well up until, you know, the last part of it when they had those two drives when they really realized that they might be able to move the ball and they got some plays on the scrambles. You know, outside of that, I think we gave up the first down in the first series. And after that, they were three and out, and that was a, that part of it was positive. But you have to be able to sustain it. You know, it doesn't count if you get, you know, two or three of them. Uh, you got to sustain it throughout the course of the ball game. I thought our return game and, and the kicking game was uh, reasonably decent. Uh, those returns that we did have a chance at uh, coverage units on a couple, two or three kickoffs. Our guys did a nice job in coverage. Still had a few flaws in there, but uh, we made some plays. Pinned them inside the. 17-yard line on uh, two or three occasions. Uh, I don't know what else there is, so if that'll do it, I'll go about my way. <laughs> Coach, can you just talk about Elijah Lee? How what you thought of him today, and just the progress he's made in the short time. Well, he's made progress, and I and I judge that based on practice. And I really can't tell you how well he played. I don't think he played poorly uh, by any stretch of the imagination, but I, that's something I'll just have to watch videotape of. How about Judah Jones? Yeah. Judah made some people miss him, right? So we need to stop being stubborn and make sure that you know he gets the opportunity to do that. Uh, I thought uh, I thought the others you know played well, uh, ran hard. You know I liked uh, I liked that. Uh, you know we didn't get you know a multitude of big plays, but you know they were getting you know consistent yardage. I think uh, I don't know what the average it's on here someplace, but you know somewhere in the vicinity of probably five yards per carry, which uh, isn't tremendously bad, but you know probably should have been better this, this evening. Last opener, you gave up two uh, rushing touchdowns covering longer than 30 yards, and then you gave up two rushing touchdowns longer than 30 yards the remainder of the season. You gave up one of those uh, again tonight. Uh, what, what's the retention level of this of this team? And ability to make adjustments um, against those long runs. Well, I, you know, you, you get them different ways. So it's, uh, you know, it, I can't tell you what the two you're talking about happened to be, what the what the schemes were. I know what tonight's was, and I just address that. You know, we have to learn how to play. You know, when the quarterback goes back to throw it, use the uh, junior All-American uh, terminology that I'm using, and he decides he can't throw it and he's going to run it. We have to be able to make tackles. And instead of letting them get you know 25 yards down the field and in the end zone, so you know really it, there isn't any carryover from one season to the next, uh, but it but it is about plays and people got scrambles against us uh, last year. Uh, we gradually you know got uh, got a grasp of it. Uh, we're gonna well, I mean we're gonna see it this coming week. You know Richardson is he can pull it down and bring it out. He's gonna pull it. I mean he uh, his eyes are gonna light up when he sees the tape tonight. Bill, it seemed like tonight you showed a little bit more than usual in an opener, maybe a little more than just the quote unquote vanilla. Was that the case <laughs> offensively, or? Well, you know, we have so much. Uh, I mean, that's that's just a portion of a very minimal portion of what we. I say minimal. That's probably not right. I, I don't know what the numbers are, but you know that uh, at best that might be forty percent of, of what we have the ability to do and what's in our playbook, so to speak. Uh, you know, I don't know how that compares with other uh, last season or, or any other season for that matter. I just know that you know you, you try to put on the field those things that you feel, you know, not always right, but those things that you feel have an opportunity to be successful against whoever you're playing against. So you know that whatever that package is, it's going to vary from uh, week to week, uh, and you know we just we had on the field what we thought we had an opportunity to have success with.
Did you want to give maybe Iowa State a little bit more to have to look at too? Is that uh, that wasn't the thinking. You know, we th were thinking about Stephen F. Austin, and now that that's over, we'll think about Iowa State. Coach, you mentioned Tuesday at the press conference that the backs needed to be dual threat running backs in terms of catching passes and running the ball. Uh, were you pleased with that tonight? Was that evident on the field? Well, I, th I think uh, Charles did a nice uh, uh, did a nice job. Charles Jones uh, caught I don't know how many he caught, but he caught several throws. I don't think he put any on the ground. I was pleased about that and got a little bit of yardage with it and salvaged some some plays. Yeah. Uh, well, why didn't Tyler Lockett play after the first quarter? Because I didn't want him to. Will, will he be will able to play a standard role next week? If I want him to. Okay. <laughs> uh, Coach, uh, offensive line play, I noticed you rotated a lot to Luke Hayes at right guard, uh, in reps with uh, Little, I believe it was. Uh, how do you assess the play of the offensive line tonight? Uh, I, I, think, I think we played reasonably well. Uh, you know, uh, a little difficulty from time to time, but overall, I think they're you know the grades when Coach Dickey grades them, uh, I think they'll be positive, you know, and and something that we can, uh, you know, hang our hat on for the for the future, you know, knowing that we're going to get better. But by the same token, I thought they did a reasonably good job. Bill, can you assess Morgan Burns' effort tonight, both uh, in the kick game and out there at corner? Yeah, I, you know, his effort is. I mean, there's. No question about his effort. He's always going to give you good effort. He plays hard. Uh, had uh, a little bit of difficulty on some things, but he made some. He made a lot of plays. Uh, he broke up a number of passes, and he had the obvious, uh, you know, positive returns. And I say positive. I mean he ran hard. Uh, probably, you know, he's getting ingrained and uh, being able to pick and choose, you know, where he goes. And there's still a little left to be desired there, but. Uh, but he ran, ran awfully well. I was pleased with him. Especially given the, you know, the two much bigger bull man that we've clearly risen to have here, the number of people that were on the field today. Well, I think that's always important, and that's you know that's why you, you know what our thinking is there that you know it's important to have the opportunity to do so, uh, and and we did get. Uh, you know, I can't tell you the numbers, but you know, all of our twos were in. Uh, you know, after the first drive of the first series of the uh, uh, fourth quarter, and you know, that was that was positive on both sides of the ball. Uh, probably would have liked to have done it a little bit sooner than that. Coach, he uh, he didn't start, but Charles Jones was very good for you, running out of the Wildcat formation. How, with this being his first time really getting in there, how much confidence do you think he can take away from tonight? Well, I just I love the uh, the fact that he ran as hard as he did. You know, I mean, he was an aggressive runner, and Dmac was as well. But you know, Charles made some uh, you know some of those second effort plays. You know, what do you call it? Yards after contact type thing. That uh, he made a number of those, and I was I was pleased about that. So yeah, he played well. Uh, De Demarcus being in the program for so long to make his first start tonight. What do you think that meant to him, and how do you think he handled? Uh, the role that came with that. Well, I think I, I've, you know, I'd have to ask him, but I, I think he was pleased about it, and and I don't think he should be disappointed in how he played. I think he played played well. I thought he, as I was saying a minute ago, I think he ran well. I think he ran hard. You know, he got some extra yardage from time to time. Uh, so, yeah, overall, I was I was pleased, and I hope he is too. I think he probably is. Cody Cook, he gets his first. Uh, touchdown catch tonight on that uh, pass by Jake. Uh, what's been most pleasing about his progress and ability to make those kind of plays? Well, just the idea that he that he made the play. You know, uh, he's had, uh, you know, he, started, he was one of those guys I was talking about, started off with uh, uh, a very positive, you know, camp or two a days, whatever you want to call those things. And, and then all of a sudden kind of went downhill and was just, just starting to come back up here uh, of late, and it was good to see him, you know, have an opportunity to make some plays and made a few. And and the touchdown pass that he caught, you know, was behind him, and uh, it was good.